breakthrough has been made in biochemistry, whose impact upon the future of mankind is so massive that it might be compared to the first nuclear explosion in Alamogordo, New Mexico, in 1945. The discovery of DNA and RNA. Science has now isolated the chemical essence of life itself. The new branch of science is called genetic engineering. We now know how to determine the genetic code of any living cell, of any living tissue, of any living animal. We can now alter the reproductive process in animals. We can choose genes to predetermine sex, physical characteristics, intelligence, and much more. And science is now upon the threshold of the next and most awesome development. We can create a clone. The process called cloning has a parallel. By taking a small cutting from a plant and replanting the cutting, a new plant will grow. It will be identical in every way to the original. Now, take a single living cell from a single living man. Using biochemical genetic engineering, you can create an exact duplicate of that man. A living duplicate, absolutely identical in every way. And he can be duplicated, and infinite copies. The technique is called cloning. The duplicated men are called the clones. Filmmakers International invites you to see a terrifying new motion picture, The Clones. It may seem like science fiction, but it is based in science fact. The clones. Laboratory animals have already been cloned. Man is next. This film is that story. For they duplicated one man too many. They had to find him and kill him. The clones. Recent scientific symposium, United States Senator John Tunney of California voiced a warning about the dangers of genetic engineering. The cloning of frogs has already been successful. The technology for the cloning of mammals will be available within five years. Unless research is stopped, the technology for the cloning of human beings might be available within anything from 10 to 25 years. See the clones. Powerful. Exciting, terrifying, because now it is science fiction. Soon, it will be science fact.